News 46 is brought to you by Dennis Hoff for Assembly District 36, a successful businessman who can't be bought, can't be intimidated, and won't sell you out. Paid for by friends of Dennis Hoff. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, when will the Valley Electric Association transmission line sale be completed? Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza packs in the crowds during their Halloween safe night. And Beatty Days is held over the weekend. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, October 31st, 2016. Happy Halloween, I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Valley Electric Association is going to sell their transmission line. The members have voted overwhelmingly in support of the sale. Today we spoke to Michael Hingle to find out all the details. Uh, we've exceeded the two-thirds minimum, which is what we needed. Uh, two-thirds of the membership has to agree uh, and approve of any significant asset purchase, which is what this is. How do you determine whether it's significant? Uh, that's a good question, but this certainly would qualify under anybody's definition of uh, significant because the, uh, uh, the value of the 230 kV lines is uh, approximately 85 million, so that's a lot of money. That's a significant asset, so this certainly would qualify. So the sale is going to go through. You're going to actually vote on this on the next meeting, right? Well, we, the vote is already taking place, it's, and it's still taking place. Uh, so, I mean, we have more than two-thirds of the membership that have approved it, but we're going to keep pushing until the, uh, uh, the, the next meeting, which would be November 14th. And then the date to um, complete the voting where you can put in your last uh, two cents on this vote is, uh, what's 14th. that date? That's the 14th. And so the meeting will be here at uh, your guys' conference center? Right, at the Valley Conference Center. And uh, the uh, registration begins at 1, and the meeting itself begins at 2. So we look forward to seeing folks then. So everybody can come on down. Okay, so when will the sale be completed then? Well, that's a good question, but it, it's very complicated mm -hmm. because there's uh, a lot to it. So, um, you know, we're hoping by the end of this year, the first of next year, but there's so many details involved, and it's just kind of hard to say exactly when that would be. And that's what we're talking about is the amount of money that people were um, looking forward to, the $579 check, the mm -hmm. retirement of the capital credits, and of course, the rate reduction. Um, right. So that would happen after the close? How, how long after the close? Um, almost immediately, within days or weeks after the close, that the, uh, it takes a, a while to cut that many checks, as you can imagine. Uh, but, and also to calculate, each person's capital credit retirement is unique. They're, everyone's a little bit different, so you have to run through and calculate all those. Uh, so as soon as, you, as soon as the sale closes, all that stuff starts immediately. Well, as you know, it's Halloween, and if you're planning to go out trick-or-treating tonight, Desert View Hospital has some tips to keep you and your kids safe. Here's a tip for drivers. If possible, try to avoid cutting through residential areas where trick-or-treaters are likely to be present. Obey all traffic signs and signals. Drive at least five miles slower than the posted speed limit sign. Watch for children walking on the roadways, medians, and curbs. In dark costumes, they might be harder to see at night. Also, be aware that trick-or-treaters may not be paying attention to traffic and may cut between parked cars. Motors should scan far ahead when driving in residential areas. Watch for children and cautiously monitor their actions. Turn on your headlights to make yourself more visible, even in the daylight. For trick-or-treaters, please do not run out from between parked cars or into the street. Walk in groups, 
stoops or on the sidewalk or paths. Cross at the corner. When crossing the street, look left, right, and left again. If you see any cars, trucks, or motorcycles coming, wait for them to pass or stop. When crossing the street at the corner, make eye contact with the drivers. Carry a flashlight so you can see and be seen easily. And if there are no sidewalks, always walk facing traffic. Here are some costume tips. If your children are wearing masks, make sure their field of vision is not obstructed and take it off before crossing the street. You can also use makeup instead. Wear bright colored costumes, make sure swords, knives, and other accessories are soft and flexible. Use retro reflective tape or stickers on your child's costumes. Have your children carry a retro reflective candy bag or pumpkin or put retro reflective stickers on their candy bag. Well, let's have lots of fun and let's have a safe Halloween. Well, hundreds of trick-or-treaters from all over town converged on Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza for a Halloween safe night on Saturday night. It's our annual safe night here at Pahrump Auto, and this is the third year we're doing it. It looks like everyone is happy. <laughs> I think so, too. I hope so. It was a lot of work to put this on, but well worth it when I see the smiling faces. People are lined up outside, coming inside, all the games and giveaways and candy and haunted house. It, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's wonderful. It's nice that this community comes together, but Pahrump Auto and Key Club have worked very hard to get this done. And it's amazing that we just pulled it all off again this year. We're happy. We're going to have to try to figure out ways to make it more efficient and better because, yeah, it just keeps getting bigger every year. You know what's so great about this is the line around uh, the outside of the building is very behaved. It's moving very fast, but it's indoor and it's a great place to just have an event like this. Yeah, it is because we, we are. We get to be inside. It's, you know, we've got enough employees where we can, you know, we've got the parking and and uh, vehicles, you know, contained somewhat, you know, and, and so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a safe environment and everybody's been behaving themselves so far, so it's a good, good thing. It's been about the last month putting this all together and doing everything for it. Uh, Reba from the high school has been a big factor. My boss, Greg Meyer, here at the Auto Plaza has allowed me to be able to do it and given me the, the option during the month to be able to cut out early and to build everything. It's, and he's been a huge support staff for this. I think it's a great thing that they do for the children here. Um, they have wonderful, as you can see, sponsors here. And I, they, my kids love it. And How I many kids do you have? Here next year. How many kids do you have? I have three. But one, one couldn't make it. I have four, but one couldn't make it. Yeah. What do you like most, Nathaniel? Well, what I like most, if it wasn't for Channel 46, we wouldn't know the events that we have in our town, so my hat's off to you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Oh, this is crazy. I can't believe how many people are here. This is so awesome for Pahrump. I love seeing all the people and seeing my students in their costumes. This is amazing. so much fun. You know what I like uh, a lot here is that it's kids of all ages. That's what I like, too. Yeah. And, it, and it's kind of cool, too, because you have so many of the high school students are running the booths, and then some of them are dressed up, and then you have the little elementary kids and the preschool kids and the middle school kids. I, I agree with you completely. It's for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! And we'll have your health tip right after the break.